What's going on guys? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape, and today I'm gonna teach Kevin from Arkansas with Fall River Lawn and Landscape how to operate a walk behind. He's been in lawn care for a while now, but he's always used stand-on mowers, so he has no idea whatsoever how to run this walk behind, and I've been running them for six or seven years, so it's gonna be pretty funny for me to watch him try to do this, but this is for someone who has never run a walk behind and who is interested on how these things actually operate. For those of you guys that don't know Kevin, be sure to check him out, Fall River Lawn and Landscape on YouTube. You can also find him on Instagram and on Facebook, and I'll leave all those links down in the description. So this here is a newer style Ferris mower. All walk behinds are different, uh, so they're not all gonna be the same. So this is the gist of a walk behind mower, but specifically the Ferris FW35. So first things first, your parking brake has to be off, and that's pretty much standard on any walk behind. As soon as you uh, try to take off, if that's not disengaged, then your mower's gonna die. Once you got your parking brake off, on the Ferris mowers, this bar is your forward drive. So pretty much look at it as this is your left tire, and this is your right tire, and there is no way to separate the two. So once you push this thing down, you're going forward. The only way to stop yourself is to pull these here levers back. So this lever is your left tire drive, and this is your right tire drive. Now, the more you pull this thing back, the slower that tire is gonna go. So now, with this pushed all the way down, we're in full speed forward. The more I pull these levers back, the slower these two tires are gonna turn if I pull them back simultaneously. Now, if I pull this one back and I leave this one down, then I'm gonna be turning over that way and vice versa. If I pull this one and leave this one down, now I'm turning that way. But when it's time to stop or if you need to slow down or whatever, if you pull these back to about right here, you're gonna be in neutral. And if you try to pull them back all the way to the handles, you're now in reverse. So this is your full drive from all the way down to all the way up here is that full tire motion. You can't get any more than that. So if you pull this one about halfway, that tire is now gonna be at a standstill. It's gonna be in neutral and same here. So if you need to stop, you pull these back and now you're sitting in neutral. And then again, if you come all the way back, you're in reverse. So when it comes time to turn, you're gonna wanna pull this one back to where it's going in reverse and you're gonna leave this one forward. You might pull it a little bit so you lose a little bit of that forward motion, but you're gonna pull this one back to where it gets in the reverse motion and this one's gonna be still in your forward motion, like I said, maybe a little bit slower, but now you're gonna be doing your true zero turn. So if you get this one, you know, again over here, you get this one in reverse, you slow this one down, you're at your true zero turn where this tire's spinning backwards, this tire's spinning forwards, and you're gonna turn like you're supposed to without tearing up the turf. A lot of people get caught up on the walk behinds because they'll try to turn and they'll try to just bring this one at a standstill and let this one go forward and then all that tire's doing is leaving a nice rut every time you turn. So to be a good walk behind operator, you've gotta to get to the point where you can get this tire going in reverse and this tire going forward and that, my friends, is hard to do. So watching Kevin try to do this is gonna be pretty funny. So other than what you've got right here, the only other control that you need to know about whenever operating this machine is these foot pedals down here now, both of these pedals here do the exact same thing. They look different because this one's missing the rubber pad. Uh, we wore that off of there. But those two pedals are the exact same thing and when you hit one, it moves the other, vice versa. So what those pedals do is when you have your forward bar down and you're going along and you're mowing and you're ready to stop, if you hit one of these pedals, like I said, either side, it brings this bar back to neutral automatically. At any point, you hit either one of those, and it brings this bar back to neutral and you're good to step away from the mold. So Alex just gave us the rundown on how to do this. I'm actually pretty nervous. I really feel like I'm about to wipe out, but I'm gonna hop on there, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a go, and I'm probably gonna go really slow. So, here goes nothing. You seem really excited about this, guys. I am. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. I'm so nervous. I'm excited. So nervous. I'm excited. I can't wait. What are we doing here? All right. You don't hit the white Impala. Everything else hit is Hit anything. Game. So hit the white Impala yeah, and nothing that's else. It, right? okay, cool. That's what I was going to say. Actually, yeah. You know, I just watched a video the other day on YouTube of a guy with a walk behind, and he had fallen off of it, and it kept going, and it was running circles. Oh. And he was out there trying to catch it. Oh yeah, that's when you just walk away. And yeah. I guess they, I guess they had, No, like, a lot of people the will the disable off. the safeties. Yeah. You'll see people have them zip tied down or they'll mess with the wiring until they get it to where everything works but the safeties, which to me is stupid. And and it was in a throttle, if something happens, it's not stopping. Or it if was something in a, happens, it was in a parking lot and it was like 
jumping the curb and hopping back off and jumping yeah. the curb and hopping yep. back off. Took his safety off. And it sounded like the blades were going, so he was like dodging it every time it'd swing around towards you. Tell him about the Z2? Let's keep the blades off. Z2 on the hydro <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alex is nervous now. <laughs> this is my mower. My I hope you got that going. Oh, it hasn't stopped. Okay. Right. Yeah. And got part of your phone conversation, too. <laughs> All right. All right. So you ready to go? As ready, as ready as I'm ever going to be. Gonna yeah. any, any questions? No? All right. Let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> no time. Four questions. Just let go of the safeties if you don't feel comfortable. Yeah. So, Amen. So I, I only have to have one safety on it. Right. right. So like if you, if you okay. need to scratch your leg or whatever, you can, and once you're moving, you know, you can let go of one. As long as you got this down, the mower's going to keep going straight. You don't have to, you don't have to have your hands on both sides to keep that tire going or anything. Like that it's just the safety okay. and that's it's not like if you're dodging a tree or something you got to go around a tree or if you need to bend over and you know whatever it's right. like you only have to have one and the safety does not have to be on to the start it right nope the safety nope. works with the parking brake parking brakes off the safety has to be on right okay. pretty much yeah with, with once this is back you know the only way the engine will start is if the parking brakes on and, and once this is pushed down which this won't push down without the parking brake so pretty much if your parking brakes on you're good to go. Okay. So it's idiot. Long story short. So it's idiot proof. <laughs> Basically. And it didn't start. What do you think? That was weirder than I expected. The turn is the hardest part. To yeah. Make that sharp to turn get it tight. And yeah. actually get one rotating backwards and one forward. Yeah. And I really didn't expect to get turned yeah, as far as I got yeah. turned. Yeah. It feels is really it weird. Do, is it supposed yeah. to be? Yeah. There's no way you can get, if you do it right, there's no way you can get bound up. Okay. It won't. Because the first couple of turns, I was like, I feel like I'm going too far. Yeah, but technically, by by these Velky specs, you're n these are not meant to go backwards. You're not supposed to stand on them when you're going backwards. Right, that's what I'm saying. But when you're moving, when you're just going regularly, you if you do it right, you can't get your feet caught up. It feels really weird, and your in your leg is close to that bar, but yeah. you can't get you can't get under it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The way that the way that everything is and the way that it's set up, there's no way for it to roll backwards like that or so roll can around. You stand I should say. On the Velky and back up. You can, you but man, you fat that the ve that's a so right. You just have to step off and then yeah. come back. That's that brand is a right, like the mower right, and it's a Z or a not a Z2. I'm sorry, it's an X2. So it's a right X2 Velky, and the right X2 Velky you can't back up on is what they claim. Now you can if you're used to it and you know what you're doing and you got your balance right, but it's designed to where when you back up, this thing spins around and goes under the machine like that and you back up, the tire's still spinning. When you turn around to go forward, it'll bring itself back around and now you it's gotta, ready for you to you, stand you on it. You kind of got to dodge it a yep, little bit. You just and step, step back and as long as, as long as you're standing back further than this, that's going to roll itself under there and the second you start going forward again, it's going to roll itself back out and be right there for you to stand on. Okay. And there's other Velkies on the market that are similar, and there's some that are totally fixed. Well, don't they have one that has a wheel in the middle? Yeah. One wheel? Those Velky. are. 
That's a sulky, yeah, sulky, whatever. Yeah. It's X Mark brand. Uh, those are, in my opinion, they're junk. They're, they're stupid. Really stuff. uncomfortable. They leave a stupid stripe. They leave too. a weird stripe. One stripe one in the middle, right and that one. And they wear leave. out that so fast. Itself. Really? Yeah. I was trying to see if it was as wide as the tire stand. Not too much. Not quite. You'll yeah, see, you can see the tire marks. Like if you mow a really nice yard, you'll see your Velky tire marks. Right. For sure. So this doesn't flex at all, nope. other than up and down. That is yeah. perfectly it's stiff. It's not going to go right Up and down, right. and that's just for a hill kind of yeah. thing. But it doesn't go anywhere left or right. That's all in the uh, that's all in the platform and tires. So is your yard dry enough? Let it rip, dude. It's my yard. I don't care. Okay. Hey, I know a landscaper, okay? You if you tear it up, here, I'll get it fixed. I'm zone. not, so I'm not worried to, about it. You want me to, like, old school box it? Yeah, just <laughs> let her rip, dude. Bring it all, windrow it all to the middle, and we'll just leave it. <laughs> Chop large sticks, too. Yeah. Because uh, the stripes are not going to be straight. I can guarantee you that. Hey, it's all good, okay? You know that side anyway. So you're pretty yeah. good. That's Nick's side. It's already screwed up. <laughs> Parking brake! Rookie!